not sure. I'm live. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. All right. That's the one. Oh, with the Tama Tamatonga? Is that his name? The Tamatonga. He's like Tamagotchi. So Rhea's supposed to kick it off, right? Hey, how you doing? What's up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it's the new era starting it. That's so cool. I I can see Jemmy going back with Jay and they're going to have like a tag against Solo and Tama or whatever. I already see that. Love the new graphic. Cool. Hey, how you doing, Ryan? They're in Canada. We post going around that Rhea might have to vacate her title. I heard that too. Oh, Sammy's in her hometown. Big night for Sammy. Another, another one's coming. There's Priest. Looks good there. Seamus is returning and might go after Sammy. Probably. I'm doing good. Jay versus Finn Balor. Actually, that should be good. That should be a good one. Well, what's going to happen to Roman? He lost two. <laughs> Roman lost two. It wasn't just Jimmy. Yeah, there's Rhea. There's a lot of rumors for this one today. I know people were like pummeling Liv today. Wait, but Seth was injured. He didn't have to vacate his title. That'd be dumb. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I could see Chad Gable turning heel. He already kind of seemed like it last week. By saying that he was going to like take the title from Sammy in his own, own hometown. She should embrace the hate. I, she has been. Liv's already been doing that today. She's already been embracing it. So I was like, go, girl. Don't listen to all the fucking hate. Yeah, it doesn't look good for Rio right now. Hey, Bill, how you doing? 
who else would the title go to but Liv at this point? Well, that's a stupid question, but they should put it on Liv. Actually, a good point for Liv to turn heel then. Damn, so that's true. My weekend was good. How's yours? Fuck. Seth didn't have to vacate it. Yeah, it is bullshit. I actually agree to. No, I wish you have to vacate. Didn't some people have it still when they were injured? I don't get it. Damn. Damn. See, I wouldn't want it to go. I didn't want it to go this way. You took Liv out for like a year, but let's not go there. <laughs> Two of my favorites fighting. Hey Ryan, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm kind of sad for real though. Yeah, she's gonna have a revenge tour. Yep. This feud's going crazy now. Holy fuck. Oh no. Exactly, me too. It's like bittersweet. Uh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I thought that was weird that he'd show that. <laughs> I knew this would work out perfectly for the storyline, though. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Rhea injured Liv last year. Oh. Liv's gonna get it. Fuck. 
No, they're stripping her of it, or she's vacating it. Oh. This feud's gonna be fucking crazy. It was good before, but now there's like... <laughs> Damn. Oh, Seamus, he is back. Well, it works for the storyline. <laughs> Holy shit. So I heard, like, different things. Like, I heard that Rhea was already injured after WrestleMania, but they kind of used the Liv thing and for that. I've heard different things. <laughs> Mission accomplished for Liv. Pretty much. <laughs> She pretty much. I think this is just a storyline so Rhea can lose the belt without being beat. Maybe. I mean, it works out so perfectly for the fucking storyline, it makes you wonder. Oh, so she worked WrestleMania injured. So, like, she wasn't injured by Liv. So, why is everyone fucking pummeling Liv then? Because they're dumb. <laughs> why do I even ask questions? Okay. Yeah, I think she's legit injured. What are they doing for the title then? That's a good question. I don't know. People find any excuse to be mad at Liv. Let's be honest. We've seen it through the years a million fucking times. Anytime they can go after her. Even when she was caught with fucking weed, people acted like she should go to prison for fucking life. It was stupid. No, it fits perfect for the storyline. That's what I mean. They're making it fit perfectly in. I know Liv and Rhea are buddies in real life. That's why it's so funny that everyone's going fucking nuts. They're angry. They're it's dumb. That's what I was saying earlier today about it. I gotta watch it again. Thought it was a little weird to put it out now, though. That guy just wanted to eat his Taco Bell. He didn't want that guy there. <laughs> Fucking commercial. Hey, AJ, what's up? What do you think is going to happen with the Gable Sammy one? See, the storyline's so good, no one knows if she's actually injured or not, but I'm going to guess she is. But it just worked perfectly for the storyline at the time. I mean, I'd rather her not be injured. <laughs> but it's pretty big to, like, fucking vacate it off of her. But then it could be so she doesn't lose it. I don't know. No, that's what I'm saying. It was fucking random of him to put it out right now. No, oh, Gable's going to turn heel. Like I said, he's already, like, uh, hinting at it by saying that he was going to make Sammy lose in his hometown. So I was like, there it goes. Now it's starting. Well, yeah, but, like, that was a... No different. 
She had to wait nine months to pop the <laughs> baby out. No, it's a total, yeah, Lib's gonna be a heel now. Oh. That's her terror twin. Judgment Day is not going to be very cool without Rhea, though. <laughs> Look, they're already born without Rhea. No, I mean, I just know that Rhea kind of makes Judgment Day for me. Rhea and Dominic. They do need her, that's what I'm saying. Although, just because she's injured doesn't mean she couldn't be backstage with them, but that's just a whole different thing. Is she? Hello. <laughs> Seamus. They have truths to carry them. Pretty much. No, I haven't seen the new Omen movie. Is it good? Oh, God. I've never been into the whole Viking Raiders. Never. Now they can separate Rhea from Dom so she can be full face when she gets back. That's what I thought the plan was. She's going to turn face and fucking... That's what I was trying... I, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> he got a little tummy on him now. At least someone else said it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she was with Ivor last week either, was she? Or the week before? She's been kind of missing lately. Yeah. I can see Priest going face too. But I cannot wait for this live heal. You're new? Hey, welcome. How you doing today, Lorenzo? Seamus had a little too much of the Guinnesses. <laughs> Got a little beer belly. <laughs> Nice to meet ya. Okay. You gotta check it out then. Shine. Well, seeing as it's his return match, there's no way Sheamus is losing. Yeah, where is Sarah, man? She at least made him interesting. Wasn't Sheamus against, like, Gunther before he left? I think that was, like, the last one I saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logan Paul's girl's pregnant. He's going to be having a baby.
Logan Paul's going to be a father. Congrats to him, though. That's cool. Oh, that's right. It was against Edge. I forgot. That was like Edge's last match there, right? Yeah, his last match there. That's right. Yeah. But I remember like a pay-per-view. I was trying to remember back. Adam Copeland. I was watching WWE Rivals this morning with the whole Matt and uh, Edge one. I remember that drama like way back. It was fucking crazy. Liv needs a hundred wedgies a day until Rhea returns. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, <laughs> he was. Now Edge is in wrestling for all crybaby wrestling. No way. Vince wants to buy his own wrestling promotion. He's still going to try that? Yo, he needs to stay away. He is a stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> Dude. All I'm saying is this Liv Rhea storyline is going to be so fucking crazy. It's going to be so crazy. Yeah, dude, we've, we've been done with Vince for a fucking while. Aw. We like having you here. <laughs> Love better checker fans. <laughs> I don't think Vince does know what's good for him. Let's let's be honest. This is Vince. One of us. One of us. He couldn't come back even if he tried. The fucker has money though, so I'm sure he will try if that's if that's true. It doesn't mean the fucker won't try. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, his whole life was wrestling, so, like, that's probably all he knows what to do. Or get involved in. <laughs> exactly, it'd get him off, because he knows how pissed people would be. And the controversy. Plus, he's probably bored. Let's be real. It was sad, dude. It was so sad. But I do love the fucking storyline that's going to turn into with Liv. Even if he did, he would have allegations. <laughs> He's going to. Poor, poor Rhea. Now Judgment Day is like going to kind of flounder, I think. If they keep her off TV. Well, you got Soraya in AEW. She back in AEW. Yeah, but if he made a new one, he wouldn't go public so the allegation. Yeah, exactly. He'd find a fucking loophole. Vince would find a fucking loophole. Yeah, they got preached for now, but like still Rhea kind of made them. They're going to be hella boring without Rhea, let's be honest. For a while there, it was Rhea and Dom that was carrying them.
defend our truth for a bit. I hope he. I hope it's at least long. I wonder if his title run will be as long as he held the briefcase, though. Because he held that briefcase for almost a fucking year. Minus, like, a few months. Priest and Baylor feud would be awesome. And Dom might be with Liv to definitely add to the story. See, that's what I was saying before. That's what I was saying before. <laughs> she said she was going to take fucking everything. Everything that she loves. Why would they have Seamus' first match back against Ivor? Why am I so mean to Ivor? Liv, there's still more things to take. That's the thing. Well, yeah, Rhea wasn't happy with Dom for a little bit there, but Dom wasn't talking to her or whatever. How did I come up with Dom and Liv? Uh, easy. Because she said she was going to take everything she loved from Rhea, and Rhea loved the title, Judgment Day, and Dom Dom. So that's how I came up with it. Dude, he's sweating like crazy. Oh. <laughs> that is true. Liv also did hard time like Dom <laughs> with that, that mug shot. Like the best fucking looking mug shot ever. Makes total sense. I just got there before the rest. She said everything. Everything she loves. Yeah, Seamus got to get back in ring shape. He was kind of struggling a bit. Seamus wasn't working on his cardio as much as his chugging. Damn. Damn. Oh, shit. A 91. Crazy. I want to live to beat Rhea for the title, but this will do for now. Oh no, once Rhea gets back, we're gonna be fed nice with that storyline. It's gonna be crazy. Dude, what if fucking Gable turns heel and costs Sammy the championship in his own hometown? That'd be kinda crazy tonight. Matching teardrop tattoos? Oh hell yeah. They could do it. That's why they got a deal. Like. That was a good deal. He was so freaked out and mad over the match in 91 that he was close to pissing himself. Damn. Damn. I think a heel turn would be good for Gable. Maybe they thought Gable couldn't realistically win over fucking Gunther, so they're going to have him take it off of Sammy. Is that how it is? Well, Gable's the closest we'll ever get to another fucking Kurt Angle. That's for sure. Well, next year we're going to have no ads. 
on Netflix, so that'll be cool. And now Gable is Comedy Kurt in his early version, for sure, for sure. Dude, Comedy Kurt was hilarious. I love Kurt Angle, man. Do you remember back in the days when, like, Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle were kind of, like, a little... They did little comedy sketches. It's kind of funny. I always love when Brock Lesnar kind of, like, gets to let loose and just be funny. Or when Kurt Angle would, like, be joking around with Edge and Christian. Yeah, the Edge and Christian ones. That's what I was just saying. That shit was hilarious. Here, Brock Lesnar back in WWE. Yeah, he's back. I think the whole allegations, everything got like dropped. I think he was found innocent. Well, no, they just got dropped against him. I love my nails. Thank you. I appreciate it. For the benefit of those with flash photography. I can love to edge and Christian. Yeah, see, the, the shit against them got dropped. Missed you last week. Yeah. Yeah, they made me fucking work Monday and Friday last week, which is bullshit. They gave me, like, Tuesday and Thursday off. Like, the days right before the damn days I asked for. Liv's gonna start... Liv's gonna shut her pants when he's standing in the ring and she hears, this is my brutality. Uh, I fucking can't wait. I'm off this Friday, though, so I get to stream SmackDown, too. Dom Dom's married in real life. He just got married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking lucky to get that Sunday on WrestleMania weekend because they were kind of being bitchy. It's just one of the schedules, schedulers there. Hey, uh, heard a podcast say that Liv Morgan will never win. They don't like Morgan. They think she'd be awful and always cries. Well, they can cry about it. <laughs> she literally uses that shit against them anyway. There's like, people are going to hate on Liv. It doesn't fucking matter. She's going to get the title. It's one of the, it's the biggest fucking women's storyline right now. Let's be fucking real. Liv's always been the underdog. The last fucking two rumbles, she was the second to last. All right. She was the final one in fucking Elimination Chamber right before. Like, dude, she's going to win the fucking title. Yeah. A normal work night? It seems like it. But I don't have, like, a set schedule. It's different every week. No. Yeah, that's what I mean. She's one of the most over people. He's just letting his own opinion like say shit and sound stupid. Alexa stands. That's all you had to say. Liv didn't steal Alexa's spot. Alexa left and got pregnant and had a baby. The spot was there. It wasn't stolen. Like, she literally got pregnant and had a baby. Triple H! 
pills, yeah. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Liv's gonna be fucking heel and Rhea's gonna be a baby face. I mean, she's already kind of over as a face. You had people boo and live already over Rhea, and Rhea's a heel. So, like, Rhea's already over with the fans anyway. So, yeah, she's going to be a major baby face. Oh, you got your championship? Yeah, put your championship on the wall. What's Triple H out here for? Ooh, new title. Looks like a new title. The women's need a new title, that's for sure. Like a kind of like intercontinental title for the women's, that's what they need. Lib basic, oh, that's right, the draft is coming. <laughs> Again, the women's one in NXT. A women's North American title. That's what they got to do here. That's right. Bow down at Triple H. This guy just turned the whole fucking company around, man. Oh, yeah, there's going to be weirdos, but, like, I haven't had to block anyone on YouTube yet, no. Lots on Twitter, though. Needs to be a women's IC title. Yes. What Logan call it? The Logan Paul of that area, <laughs> area era. I'm a huge Lib fan. Yes, I'm not gonna block you. Don't worry. <laughs> like I said, I haven't blocked people. I don't block. It takes a lot. Awesome truth. So is it going to be new tag belts? <laughs> Here we go. I love him. Oh my God. Yeah, like I said, I've blocked a lot on Twitter, but most of them are like, yeah, uh, fake accounts and shit. New tag titles. Hey, Raphael, how you doing? It's a trap. She's mad with power. Hide your kids. Hide your friends. She's blocking everyone up in here. That's exactly what's going on. That's good. Yeah, those belts are kind of ugly. Oh, 
don't chat back on your videos. I don't know what you're talking about. Our truth is a legend. Now I'm confused. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I go through the comments. I do. I try to like all of them and I... I will try to go through them more. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, okay. Sorry. I must have missed it. Because I actually do try to. But I will look for him. Those are two good ones to have. Yes. Are they going to change some of the other belts too then? Yep, K Quick. I remember him back as K Quick. Much better. Those are much better. Yeah, those look much better. Yeah, they're they're way better. <laughs> Fucking Miz is confused. I know I saw that. I thought that was crazy. I'm so thankful. Look at our truth, man. <laughs> exactly what a magician would say. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, our truths can break anybody, man. <laughs> Triple H works. Triple H chat. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my God. I think it's um, a thousand actually. No? Either one. <laughs> this is super. Can I just go, please? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> He's getting the fuck out. <laughs> oh, my God. Even the Miz is just kind of like. <laughs> Wow. Damn. Oh, shit. That's a little rude. That's a little rude. Nah, no way. There's no way they're gonna win after that one. <laughs> they're like DX colors. <laughs> they are total DX colors. Yeah, our truth is gonna think they're dead. Cause I mean, he think Triple H was Chiampa. Chiampa. I have to work tomorrow. Norwood, maybe. I haven't done an NXT one yet. That shit was fucking hilarious. Oh my god. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. <laughs> okay. I know. Responsibilities. I think I work at like 10 tomorrow. 10 to 5.30. Dude, our truth is just straight gold. He's fucking perfect. These Taco Bell commercials. Just stalking people eating Taco Bell. <laughs> no, we too young for responsibilities. <laughs> Miz was having a hard time not laughing. Triple H was having a hard time not laughing. Regeneration X. Of course it would be. 
I remember back in the days where you wouldn't get spoiled and shit. It was a lot different. Now you have everything everywhere all the time. So it kind of takes away from it a lot. But it's still fucking great. Sounds like a type of food. But... What's responsibilities? Dude, I would fucking break with our truth out there. I don't know how you can't. The guy's fucking hilarious. It'd be like its own category of food. So far, Raw has been pretty good. Although, yeah, I think Seamus does need to get in a uh, better ring shape. For sure. Sounds good. What are you making? Responsibilities? <laughs> I only read the news for injuries and some rumors, but I always avoid spoilers to shows. Sometimes it's hard to avoid the fucking spoilers, though. That's the thing. Like, if there's a pay-per-view or something, I try not to go on, like, Twitter. We brothers are good. But it's not time for them to lose yet. Yeah. I mean, usually, like, when rest or when wrestlers come back after a while and shit, they're usually in, like, really good shape and stuff. I don't know. And it's nothing against him. It's just, like, yeah. I know he can get back into the shape, too. It's not that at all. Why do the Creed brothers look like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon? <laughs> oh, shit. New Day. What's the Maxine match tonight? That's weird. Seamus has a fitness channel on YouTube. That's right, he does have the fitness channel. Because wasn't like, I know Liv was on it, and a few others have been on it. That's true. Maxine and that other girl versus Candace and Indy. Is the other girl, um, Ivy Nile? Yeah, a lot of them have been on that thing, I remember. There's a QR code. I wonder if it's for that uh, Uncle Howdy thing. Now they're finally starting to come. I was right about that. Who's Max? If clips from us. I didn't catch the code. They do look like Ben Affleck in that team. Oh, shit. It's funny. Well, wasn't there something on, like, SmackDown or something? Because, like, with Uncle Howdy kind of, like, teasing a comeback? Which I was thinking was going to happen. Like, before the whole Bray Wyatt, even the whole documentary came out, 
I figured that like um, Bo Dallas might do like a tribute for his brother and continue the legacy going. And now that Alexa has been kind of held off of TV and all that, I feel like they're waiting. Yeah, I feel like they've been waiting, so I was right. Which is pretty exciting. Heard rumors that AEW Dynamite might go three hours. They can't even get... Okay, I'm not going to be mean. I love Mandy, and everyone argues with me that she won't return, but I tell people everyone fucking returns. <laughs> They will return. I would not be surprised if she returned. I know she makes shit ton of money now off of OnlyFans and shit, but I wouldn't be surprised. They all fucking come back. Have Liv is an annoying heel who poops her diaper every week and lets Rhea feud with her when she returns. <laughs> well, I think you're going to get your Liv... Liv. I think you're going to get your wish, though, because Liv's definitely going to be healed. Especially after this Rhea injury, because people are already exist. <laughs> Vince will come back. Well, what someone said, Vince wants to buy his own fucking own promotion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, AEW would be dumb to run the show for three hours. They can't even fucking sell enough or get ratings for the two they have. And that's... I'm just gonna say it. Liv's gonna embrace the hate. Trust me. She's smart with the shit. She was already being, like, an instigator on Twitter. She's hella smart with it. Because, like, at the end of the day, those two are fucking friends, so it's not like a... Everyone's making it into something it's not. It's wrestling. Accidents happen. Rhea had lived injured lived before, and I'm not sitting here fucking hating Rhea. I love Rhea. Stupid. Mandy says she still has some gas in the tank and wants to do it in wrestling. Well, she's got to come back and bring fucking toxic attraction to the main damn roster. They were supposed to be on the main roster years ago. They got fucked up because she got fired, which is bullshit. But I would love to see JC and Gigi on the main roster with her. Did I get that off the thing? Big E says he's not clear to return. I know, I love Big E. The whole thing's sad. I know she's got money flying out of her pants, but, like, at the same time, I'm telling you, they always come back. Look at Sasha Banks, all right? Mercedes. And fucking AW. She's got money out of her pants, too, but she's doing it. I feel like it's an addiction. <laughs> they always come back. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's not just like an addiction, it's like a passion thing. They always come back. Biggie's still in the background and shit all the time. He's still around. It's not wrestling. Well, it's not just that. She might like the exposure of being on WWE, you know? Blame Tony Khan. Straight up. The guy hated Vince when Vince was around. Acted like he was so much better. And then when Triple H came, the guy turned into a Vince himself. So. Not Vince himself. Totally, but there's some traits. 
but I don't know. I don't hate AEW. I just like I, I did get very disappointed. That's how stuff went. <laughs> Yeah. Like, instead of taking fucking criticism, the guy just, like, goes off on little, and has little, like, fucking fits about shit. Instead of just taking the damn criticism. I would not be surprised. I already think eventually WWE is going to buy AEW. Eventually. Not now. Not now, but down the fucking road. Because there's no way that Tony's not going to bankrupt that fucking company. Because he keeps paying all the... He keeps hiring all these new people under these insanely expensive contracts. And they're not even making enough money to fucking... Keep up with it. Let's be real. Guy's rich as fuck, but you're right. Money goes. (laughs) Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it's gonna be it's not gonna last forever. Tiny Julia, I love that. I love that. She's so cool. I don't, I like AW dropped the ball with that, but she's she dodged a bullet with that one. For sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. The Uncle Hobby teasers are great. I fucking love them too. So that must mean you're going to get probably like Alexa back and Braun Strowman probably. They're probably just waiting on it. Yeah, no, I don't. It's not AEW itself that I don't like. I was a huge fan of AEW. I've been to an AEW pay-per-view. I've, I'm, I'm was a big fan. Has mo- a lot of my favorite people are in AEW. It's just they got fucked over so much by like the fucking creative and just in general some of that backstage shit that it's just hard. Mm-hmm. Rowan, Strowman, and Alexa. So yeah, a lot of my favorites are in AEW. It's not AEW I don't like. It's the management of it. Because I love wrestling in general. The more wrestling promotions and the more wrestling out there, the better. Like, I am not rooting for their demise at all. At all. I'm rooting for their fucking improvement. <laughs> As a Rhea Ripley fan, I don't hate Liv. Just need to give her an atomic wedgie. Uh. I don't want to see it burn. At all. I want to see it fucking succeed. But the problem is, it's burning. So bad. Seeing what they fucking did to the Hardys and shit, oh my god. The Hardys were my childhood. The Hardys and Jericho? Jericho's so stale there now, like... He's like a king of reinventing himself, too. That's why he's gonna come back to WWE. He has to come back to WWE because this is bad.
Yeah, but Tony's a fucking little kid. He acts like a little spoiled brat. I don't want to see it succeed at Bernie. That's not it. No. They just need to burn Tony out of it. That's the burning. Oh. For the QR code? Time to wake up and take my hand, trust me. CM Punk action figure. Drew McIntyre. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. That poor guy just fucked himself so hard. Fucking like CM Punk keeps fucking with him. Hardcore. <laughs> Such a shithead. Oh, my God. That fucking shit-eating grin. Yeah, that's why I love the other promotions. I just wish he wasn't fucking it up so hard. Oh, yeah, they are. It's one of the best things going on right now is the Drew fucking CM Punk thing. The Drew CM Punk thing. The Rhea Live one. Uh. Drew's me. When you get fucked over so much, all you do is laugh. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> That's literally me at work, literally. Not that part, but that's what I want to do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's going to be LA Knight versus Styles again. Yeah. McIntyre's going to lose it. Yep, he kicked the fucking TV. Yeah, he's angry. Even though he did all that to himself. <laughs> he should have just left with the title, man. He shouldn't have fucked with CM Punk. Thank you. Thank you. I know we're growing, y'all. I'm almost at... We're almost at 400. We're almost at 400. Thank you, everybody. It means the world. We're growing from humble beginnings. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no stories in AEW, just good matches. Um, I've seen good stories and good matches. It's just they're so rare that I get his point. Yes, smash. <laughs> Please uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Also, it means the world to me. This is so fun. I love doing this every week with y'all. Wrestling's like my life. <laughs> Wrestling is my life. Yeah, see, there's some good stories. There are some good stories. So I wouldn't take the stories completely away. Ah. Uh. CM Punk vs. Drew McIntyre is going to be great. It's going to be great.
So y'all see fucking Gable screwing Sammy out of his title tonight? Oh yeah, I was I was actually initially thinking of the storylines with MJF when I was saying it too. I can't wait till MJF's in WWE because you know it's coming. I hope he like interrupts the CM Punk match at like a WrestleMania or something. That would be epic. Because AEW has a lot of like little homegrown great people there. Like I said, I love AEW. It's just gonna have to give you that Paul Heyman intro if you keep making these predictions. Spoilers. <laughs> it's just my wrestling brain. <laughs> SummerSlam cards, rumored. Rock, Cody, Drew, Punk, Seth, Roman, Liv, Rhea. Rock, Cody, Drew, Punk, Seth, Roman, Liv, Rhea. Ooh, that would be a crazy card. What was the last draw for you with AEW? I don't know if it was the last draw. I... Hmm. I know for a while there, they were treating the women, like, horribly. And, like, when I went to a pay-per-view, there was, like, nine matches. Only one women's match. And that pissed me off. Because that was bullshit. Just shit like that. It did, too, so many little things that stacked up. It wasn't, like, a major thing. But I think what really made me sick was seeing how fucking Ed, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy were getting treated, like, those past year. Candace's heel turns great right here. Razo versus Mariah May. That'll be good, actually. Indy's... <laughs> wonder how long Indy's gonna deal with this. You think Indy's gonna turn heel with her or stay face? It'd be cool if Indy turned heel, though. By summer, because Rhea said a couple months, right? So I think by SummerSlam, Rhea should be better. Enzo is not coming back. <laughs> Fuck Enzo. Fucking Enzo got to stay the fuck away. Okay, so it is Ivy Nile. Look like Trisha Pace. I'll never forget that. Enzo isn't. Enzo's such a shit. Enzo's talented on the mic, sure. But in general, that. Enzo can come back just so Liv can throw a chair at his head and turn and fire him again. Yes. Let Liv just beat his ass. It, I really became during the whole index thing. Yeah, dude, I loved in, uh, Dexter and Indy. I hate that they ended that. Yeah, I want Dexter and Indy back together. That was one of my favorite things going on. The chairwoman sends her regards. <laughs> I would pop for Enzo getting fired again, dude. Bring him back just for that. You're right. And yes, have Liv fucking slam him in the fucking head with the chair. Where is Dexter? Good question. Ooh. I give it to Maxine, man. She's been working her ass off since she first got here.
Yeah, they fucking screwed Indy with that for sure. Let me talk to you. Yeah, Ellie Knight's better on it. I actually do like Brandy Rhodes. I thought she got a lot of unwarranted hate. A lot of unwarranted hate back in the day. I had no problem with Brandy. That will not fucking happen. Enzo will not be Liv's manager. Uh, no. 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 Fucking okay, Enzo. Ugh. It'll happen. Jade versus Bianca is going to happen for sure. Them being like a whole team together is probably going to start it. <laughs> this is Enzo. Come on, Maxine. That's a fucking super team. Good evening, Paul. How are you? I can't see it happening as far as Enzo being Liv's manager. Liv could do it. Yeah, no, en Enzo is not going to be Liv's fucking manager. Enzo isn't even in the fucking company. We have no worries with that. Enzo can fuck himself. He made a fucking diss track on Liv, dude. I guarantee he fucking regrets it every single day of his life. <laughs> fucking idiot. Idiot. I would love to see Allie in WWE. I loved her. Allie, uh, Penelope Ford. I love her. Um, Julia. Um, Anna J. Me dancing like Enzo right now. WWE's boring without Roman? What are you talking about? Aw. She seems like she'd be really, really sweet. I've never gotten to meet any of the women in wrestling ever, which is crazy. Bucket list, man. Enzo will be back for Liv and we'll take Cody's belt. You're going to fucking own the company next? Is that it? Oh my God. It's Maybe in Vince's company, if he buys one. It's probably the only company that Enzo will even, like, be welcome to. Lillian Garcia and Debra. Ooh, that's old school. I love Lillian Garcia. I never thought anyone could replace her until Samantha. Literally. They're both icons. Roman should be back sometime, whether... Yeah, Roman's going to be back. I miss the final boss, too, man. Rock will be back eventually, y'all. Don't worry. Nyla Rose. Yeah, 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 actually. I didn't even think of her. Britt Baker, for sure. Tessa fucked herself, basically. Tessa fucked herself hard. I remember like how much they were pushing her, pushing her, pushing her. She just, that was bad. Yeah, The Rock's going to be back. Especially now that he's part of the owners in it. 
But he's still gonna be back. <laughs> it won't be eight years this time. You can be the most talented person in the world and just a shit person. Because wasn't she like racist and just like a bully in general? From what I heard, she was just a fucking bully to all the women and just racist. That's what I, I don't know. Just generally a bad person, yeah. I always like uh, love like um, Queen Amita's thing with like sky blue. They always like do cute like pictures and shit together. It's always cute. Love sky blue too. This is weird without Rhea. Mm -hmm. Anna has improved a lot too, yeah. I was so disappointed when Tay like married Sammy Guevara. I'm like, damn it. I had that little shithead. I think if them allegations didn't come up that Chelsea made, she'd be an AEW. I don't know. Yep, Trips is smart. They do an angle where Liv and Dom have it in fair. I already said that should happen a while back. It goes with taking everything away Rhea loves. It's just, it's right there. It's literally right there. Andrade. There's Charlotte's man. That's what I was thinking. Like, ever since she went with fucking Sammy, her career kind of... It's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. Dirty Dom. Yeah, I was already saying that Liv needs to go after Dom. They could really do something with the storyline if they do, if they go all in. That was so gross, man. Fucking, like, wasn't it, like, a fucking high school sweetheart or something of Sammy's? And he, like, proposed... Sammy proposed to her on television on AEW, right? And the fucking couple months later, he fucking cheats on her with fucking Tay. Awful. Awful. So scummy. I just don't even know how you could consciously do something that crazy. Because I remember the proposal on TV too. I watched it. Yeah, he's a fucking shithead. And, like, he's just not careful enough in the ring and shit. He's injured too many people. It'd be one thing if he was, like, care not careless, but, like, a little less careful like Darby. But Darby's more likely to hurt himself. Darby's not hurting other people. Sammy's hurting other people. I don't know. Good point. Actually, Tony could have done that with the whole Tay Sammy thing. That would have worked. Like a rated R couple 2.0. I actually like Darby too. The people I liked when I first started watching AEW was MJF, Darby Allen, um, Orange Cassidy. Love Orange Cassidy. Uh, you know, Penelope Ford, Britt Baker, Allie. 
Anna J, Tay, all of them. I loved all of them. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, AEW has a lot of, like, good homegrown ones there. I had Gigi when she was over at AEW for those short time. Forgot what her name was. Um, started with a P, right? What was it? What was it? Priest Kelly. Okay, there we go. It was like, um, where is her thing? Let's find out. Priscilla. Okay. Priscilla, Priscilla Kelly. That's right. I liked her in AW2 when I first started watching it. Like I said, I like AEW. Like Jericho, when it first started, was on a roll there. HBK is dropping the ball with Gigi. She beat JC in the feud and they've done nothing with her. Yeah, it's bullshit. Dude, if fucking Sammy, if he screws Sammy Zayn out of the fucking title in his hometown, that's gonna be fucking perfect for this heel run. Oh, the reaction. I hope they pull that. I hope they pull that. Yeah, they fucked up with her. Yeah, dude, I'm waiting for this tonight. I hope they fucking do that. The reaction is going to be crazy. I think it was to get attention back on the company. I think there was no reason to put it. The timing and everything. If you're going to release that video, it should have been released during the whole fucking ordeal. Not like a whole year or whatever later. Yeah, it, it didn't do anything but bad for them. <laughs> stupid and petty yeah it was nothing it's stupid yeah Santino Morella it's crazy to think that's her dad too crazy it just made CM Punk get chant. Exactly. It just, he keeps fucking himself doing these stupid moves. Yeah, I don't know what he was trying to do. Khan's an idiot. Straight up idiot. Like I said, he's just a spoiled little fucking kid. Santino's hilarious. That's why. Dom Dom. Come on, Liv. Come on out. Let's start this tonight. Yeah, they basically should have just left that in the past. There's no reason to fucking bring that shit up again. Like I said, it's just for attention.
Oh, Dom trying to run away. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I already predict that it's going to be Solo and Tama and Tonga, is that his name? Against uh, the Usos again. They're definitely going to reunite. I'd rather them reunite too, because they're matched together with <laughs> a lot of kicks. <laughs> So you didn't like Sammy Guerrero and AEW? Yeah, I don't know if I didn't. Tamatonga. Tamagotchi. That's all it reminds me of. There's another Bloodline member coming. Damn, they just keep spawning everywhere. See. Jacob, okay. Damn. We're going to have a lot of Bloodline members. Fuck me. Yeah. Wingstop commercial. Our Wingstop around here sucks. Hey, how are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Just chilling. Well, they just, like, beat the shit out of Jimmy for losing, but it's like, what's going to happen to Roman since he lost, too? You can't forget that. That was a bigger loss than Jimmy's. Yeah, I've been busy. It's been a kind of weird week, like, at work. But I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> No, I didn't. Nope. Wasn't worth it. Hell no. <laughs> no. It wasn't even full time. Like, bullshit. Roman will come back as a face to help you reunite the OG bloodline. Okay, so there's going to be like a little evil bloodline going on. You don't like the new tag title? I thought it would looked a lot better than the other ones they were using. Hey, Joel, how are you? You don't like it? It's better than the other ones they were using. A Bloodline Civil War is going to be crazy. It's actually probably legit what's going to happen. With all the new people coming. I see. I just wish they'd bring another fucking title for the women. I don't I don't tell them I'm straight up watching WWE shows. I just request the days off. I don't think that they would like the whole oh I need it for WWE. I don't think that'd work. This is a real civil war rock. Oh rock will be involved once it gets to that point. Speaking of women's title, your girl cost her you. 
I mean, revenge short. When The Rock comes back, she'll hire Enzo back and be with her. <laughs> she her back for this again. <laughs> At this point, you're literally going to manifest this shit in the reality. <laughs> hire Enzo back and be Liv's manager and brings down Judgment Day and it becomes an honorary bloodline. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pro is a true blue, true blue believer. They said he's gonna manifest this shit back. It's like he's the biggest Enzo fan out of nowhere. Oh my god. Cody fans are gonna be pissed when the bloodline story is main eventing over him. That's what's gonna happen at this point because of what? Right now, the two people that are gonna go against each other to go after Enzo's title is LA Knight and Styles. So that means Cody and that whole thing's gonna be out of that picture at he's out of the main picture basically. <laughs> he's Vince Russo. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Telling you the manifest shit. Oh my god. <laughs> dun dun dun. Oh, you said Enzo, you got him on the brain, huh? It's not a prediction, it's a spoiler. <laughs> oh no. I swear, bro, if Enzo does end up just randomly coming back. <laughs> there's one person I'm blaming. <laughs> there's one person. No, he used Shani's powers for evil. How you doing? Last time Enzo was in WWE, they had him on a love story with Nia. That's right. Did you like Dexter New Blood? I did. I did. I just love Dexter in general. Ooh. Think Dom can do it? Come on. Yes. Dom's got this. I'll just be here for the live and listen to your rant. <laughs> Jennifer Carpenter is amazing. I fucking loved her in uh, Exorcism of Emily Rose. She was amazing in that. Oh, damn it. Damn it, Andrade. We can bring Enzo back and Uncle Howdy can play mind games with him. That's fine. Let Uncle Howdy fucking destroy Enzo. That'd be amazing. Then what? Liv would be Sister Abigail. Fuck with him too. Ha. <laughs> Fucking ricochet. The rock will fire him if he does. <laughs> That's what the rock's gonna come back and use his powers for. Hopefully no one's... Yes, live his sister Abigail. I actually liked the ending. I thought the ending was okay. McAfee. I love McAfee. I'm bringing Enzo on commentary. Oh.
So in this new bloodline, is like Solo the leader? Seems like it. Seems like Solo is like leading this one. Mm. Nope, that'd be the final boss. I mean, if they do a bloodline civil war, what side would Rock be on? Probably, yeah, the other one. He'd be against the Roman side, right? Liv could also be Lily come back to life. Like the Chucky doll. True. I know they're planning on making Liv's sister Abigail, but now that it's coming back, I wonder if she'll still be involved in it or not. Or if they're just going to... They'll probably keep doing the storyline she's in. Wouldn't Tiffany be WWE's Tiffany? True. <laughs> Tippy time. Imagine her is like in that group. The hell? You got Alexa, Sister Abigail? Yeah. I figure that she's not going to be part of it right now. She's got too big of a storyline. Completely. Alexa is the fiend. Then you have Bro's Uncle Howdy. Liv is Sister Abigail. Alexa's going to be in the whole um, Uncle Howdy thing. That's why I think they've been waiting. They've been waiting for a reason. Same with Braun Strowman. It takes magic. In 21. Yeah. Just say. Too many commercials. <sighs> Tons of anarchy. I saw some of the beginning, uh, I think the first and second season. I do have to watch the rest of it. Right? Get rid of these fucking ads. I don't mind the viciousness of it. Yeah, I don't mind that shit. That shit's fine. Jay, Jimmy, Roman Reigns be baby faced soon. That's what I'm saying. Like a bloodline civil war, I guess. That made the most sense to me since there's more of them coming in. I've been watching a lot of those like WWE rivals things and stuff lately. 
like I said, I was watching the one with Matt Hardy and Edge earlier today. They're living all that shit. Because I remember living through it. It's crazy. You screwed Matt. You screwed Matt. Before all the bloodline story starts, Roman needs to kill Seth first. Mm. I feel like a whole extra half hour, 45 minutes of this is three hours of commercials. Is this the Sammy one's going to be the main event, huh? Well, yeah, the TLC ones were fucking great. They'll never beat those. The Dudley's Edge and Christian and the Hardys. Oh, well, he's. So, Sammy is definitely going to be the main event tonight, right? For sure. It's got to be. Which one's that one? Like the long hair blonde guy? I don't really remember the names. It's been a while since I watched that show. It's moving. It. Piper and Chelsea. That's crazy. The hotel, like, did the hotel ever get back to Chelsea after she said they didn't? Because that's that shit's crazy. Chelsea Green. Yeah, I like him. They yeah, they only said sorry because she called him out after a fucking week. It's bullshit. Poor girl. Wasn't it her birthday too? Yeah, it took him long enough. Uh, I always forget about Caden and Katana. Yeah, well, I mean, we fucking hammered them to let them. And they even put it in the game, which is awesome. Yeah, I always, I love them, but I always forget about Caden and Katana. It's the Trump Plaza Hotel. It was that one? What, you expect those goofs let a child check in by himself once? Ay, ay, ay. I got this. Home Alone joke, seen that movie a bunch. Oh. <laughs> I, oh, got it. Okay. Got it. That makes sense. Fucking Chelsea.
Chelsea and Piper as a team work out well. I actually like them. Damn. Chelsea slapped the fuck out of her. Damn. Ooh. I know, like, Katana. What's it? Katana used to be with Ricochet, too. Chelsea's so good. <gasps> Chelsea did it! Yes! She did it! Yes! Chelsea and Carmella were great. Also, Chelsea and Sonia were good, too. Chelsea's just makes... I think it's Chelsea, to be honest. She just, like, makes whatever she's in work. They're gonna protect Jade a lot right now. Because they built her up so much that, yeah, they're gonna be protecting her a lot. Uh, Kaden, I think. She pinned Kaden. Here comes Cody. Here comes Cody. The hot mess one. Mm -hmm. I actually love that character of hers too. Fucking makeup everywhere. She's always so talented. Ooh. So by being on both shows, does Cody's presence on Raw less increase his championship? Kinda. Kinda. Then again, the whole Bloodline and Cody thing has been kind of putting that title down anyway. Yeah, that's what I mean. There has to be another fucking title for the women. Raw's been good. Carmella should be back soon. Um, I, I know she was at WrestleMania for signings and stuff, so she should be back soon. I'm going to say. Yeah, but Cody's still there. Until Cody's gone from the show, then Priest is still going to be below. Unless they do something stat. But the thing is, like, well, even even now, though, Cody's going to be kind of a step below. Because if they have the whole bloodline thing going on like crazy, then Cody's going to be below that in, in, like, yeah. Bloodline's still going to be the main thing, whether Cody's involved or not. So that's going to put Cody below it, and, Cody, and Priest is below Cody. In interest, I'm going to guess. Unless, 
That should that should be how it goes. I keep forgetting there's gonna be a draft soon. Because I'm used to the drafts being at like the end of the year. Ah, oh, Eve Torres. I remember her. Eve was cool. I think like she was around in the era where I wasn't really watching for a few years. Oh, here we are with Rhea again. Ooh. Uh huh. She would be. There's Liv. There's my Liv. That's right. <laughs> Dude, Liv's heel is going to be so fucking perfect. There's so many women that were screwed out of it because of the timing they were there. Molly Holly, one of them. There's Liv. <laughs> Me pretending I care about customers' problems. <laughs> Jesse, yeah. Jesse was my favorite. Exactly. Exactly. That's fucking right. Told you it's coming. Tell people for fucking ever. Just be patient. <laughs> oh, Cody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yes, dude, fucking Molly was amazing. All those poor girls, man, they worked their asses off back then, but it was just the wrong era. Liv is winning the title, that's what I've been saying. Forever. I don't care what people say. Don't forget. She's right, though. Like, fucking Rhea injured her. Everyone didn't go fucking crazy at Rhea. Everyone go nuts at Liv. Molly Holly was underrated. Yes. Mucho underrated. But now she helps them all out. Nah, I'm all Cody. <laughs> uh-huh. Heal that makes good points. Exactly, though. She's not wrong. Like, she was out for a fucking never two. Victoria. Another one. Victoria, Ivory, Jacqueline, Molly... Jazz. Um, a lot. 
I wish they didn't like fuck it up with Mickey James when she was back in WWE for that little bit. Jay versus Finn. Sammy and Gable. I want Gable to win. I want to hear that reaction. Want to hear it. Imagine AJ Lee in this era. Yes, AJ Lee too. 100%. But I think she's going to be back. I see AJ Lee coming back. Even if she's like still injured or can't wrestle, she'll be back in some form. You know? I really believe she will be. Melina. That's right. Fucking Melina, too. I feel like Molina was hella misunderstood back in the day after interviews and shit because she got a bad rap for a while. Dude, that's what I wanted too, though. I wanted to see that reaction so bad. Ah, uh, just the chaos. It's been about 10 years or so, yeah, for sure. It wasn't like, I went to WWE back in 2012, I believe, and she was there, so it's got to be, yeah. Michelle McCool, too. But I heard she wants to come back, actually. So she might get her chance. A show off. And people say, who says Cody isn't a draw? He's obviously a draw. He's just not one of my favorites, to be honest. But I love Pharaoh. <laughs> I love his dog. But no, I, I like Cody, too. He's just not one of my favorite favorites. But then again, I'm more of a heel person. Cora and Roxanne, yeah. I thought they said Logan Paul was the fastest rising star. Now it's only night. I guess they're both fast. Yes, heels are the best. Baby faces can be kind of boring sometimes or like cheesy. I think that's what it is. They get too cheesy sometimes. You don't like heel rock, Sam? Gail Kim. Gail Kim's another one that was in WWE at the wrong era. They fucked her hard. But isn't Cora still uh, getting over her injury, right? But if Roxanne's a heel now and Cora's almost out of her injury, I can see them as a tag team again. I want to see Ambrose back in WWE too. <laughs> Rock's still getting mentioned. I told y'all. He's not going to be gone. Like for the eight years he was gone this time. He will be back. Mm -hmm. She did. She definitely did make it relevant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's going to become back as a heel, and I'm sure her and Roxanne are going to team up again. Do you think Triple H would use Gail Kim well in WWE? No, they didn't. Oh, Triple H. Triple H. Why did I read that, Vince? Yes, Triple H would. 
Triple H would. That's what I was saying. See, y'all don't panic. Rock lives rent free in Cody's head. That's right. He does live rent free in Cody's head. He's just obsessed with Rock. Rock isn't even the one that fucking he beat. The bloodline's falling apart right now. Wait, so Roman ordered Tamantango to beat up Jimmy, but Roman lost. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Rock and Cody at SummerSlam. If, if Rock's going to be back, it would be a SummerSlam or a WrestleMania, period. So rest, SummerSlam can happen. Here's Jay. Yeet. No yeet. No yeet. You want Rock to win the title off of Cody? Uh, I want that too. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. McAfee. <laughs> Did he just say he'll be useless for the rest of the night? Damn, Cole. I saw some of them. I actually saw some of them. I saw the uh, Stephanie one. Rock wins the title from Cody, then faces Roman at Mania. Then Roman wins it from him, and we get right back where we started. Eventually, Rock's got to win the title, and it's got to be Rock versus Roman, because we've been waiting for Rock versus Roman for a while. They've got to do it eventually. What about Lita and Trish? They're, yeah, they're amazing. I fucking love Lita and Trish. I just never mentioned them because they've at least had chances to come back sometimes. But they're given, yeah. Lita was my girl back in the day. Really? Hmm. I don't really agree with that. So did a bunch of other people. Why don't you think Undertaker, bro? <laughs> he took out your main threat. Or Seth Rollins, who literally did everything in his power. But yeah, I guess it's Jay. I'm just being a brat. Then Rock retires after Roman match. Rock's not going to retire yet. I don't see Rock retiring yet. The Yeet Master. She would do amazing right now in this division, China. She got fucked over so hard. Poor girl. She was even the one that did anything wrong. Honestly, with the way they did the promotion for the show, they easily could have had Cody win only the WWE Championship, kept the USC on Roman, let Roman break Hogan's record wall. So, yeah.
Mm-hmm. I could, yeah. Oh, here we go. Of course. Of course. Uh huh. Oh, Jesus. You cheesy. <laughs> Until we yeet again. Oh, my dumb funny joke. Balor. I want Balor to win. Balor, when I started watching again, was one of my first favorites back. Always loved Finn Balor. When I first started watching wrestling back again, my favorites were like Baylor, Becky, um, Ambrose. Baylor, Becky, and Ambrose. And Jericho, but I was talking about the new ones I like. Rock as the boss should ban Undertaker from WWE for life and no Hall of Fame either. <laughs> that would be a fucking great storyline. Dude, The Rock just taken Undertaker and no Hall of Fame for you. That would cause some craziness, man. I mean, obviously The Rock can go home and boss anyone around. We've seen it. Instead of Corbin actually going out, they should have played his music and had Cena attack and cut Corbin's music. That bit, yeah. Ah, Sable was okay. I wasn't really like watching during her whole era. The only time I really saw Sable was when she was doing all the storylines with like Tori Wilson. That whole like Playboy shit. Wendy Cinema and Pull Apart. The thing is, at first I was saying it should have been Stone Cold because of Stone Cold and Rock's past. But then when I rethought about it and remembered the whole fucking storyline with Roman and Undertaker and why Roman was so hated in the fucking first place, it made sense. I was just thinking of it with The Rock, but I wasn't thinking about the Roman aspect of it. So, yes, it makes total sense now. I just, like, forgot about that in the moment. Cena, Rock, and Cody, yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have been cool, though, to see Stone Cold, but Undertaker did make sense with Roman, for sure. People forget that in the 08 Rumble, Cody got in the ring and the first person he went after was Taker. I'm still a little confused about it. Do you remember, okay, do you remember before Roman was in the bloodline? Like, he was fucking hated because he beat Undertaker. And then he's like, Roman's like, this is my yard now and going all crazy. The crowd was fucking crazy at him, which eventually made them end up turning him heel. It was the Undertaker. It was one of the pivotal parts in Roman's thing. Yeah, it was pivotal in this whole turning point of Roman was Undertaker. But at the time, while watching it, I totally fucking forgot about that. Well, yeah, best moments, obviously. But I'm just saying it was one of the moments that was pivotal. Because he got so much heat. I remember going to one of the first shows after that whole thing happened and the crowd was crazy at him. The botched tombstone. I mean. We're back to the Olympics again already? Man, you're welcome. Oh, Naya. Her hair looks good like that. Naya actually looks kind of good right there. She 
She looks good there. Oh, yeah, no, Liv's gonna stop it. Boon, Naya. <laughs> Becky beat you. What are you fucking talking about, Naya? Becky just recently beat you. There are two types of people in the world the ones that entertain and the ones that are play. Naya and Naya. I thought that they were going to be involved in Bloodline. I always thought they would be in Bloodline. Why does Kathy look like she was crying? Here comes Finn. Oh, from behind. Smart. Smart. Baylor ads. Baylor's hella underrated, man. Hella underrated. True. Take her rock. Yeah, it was kind of like the um, Avengers. You had like all the different fucking bosses coming out. Yeah, Naya just forgot that Becky beat her ass last time. Priest is watching. Judgment Day is not going to be around much longer, I think. They're going to split off. Well, technically, if you watch like WWE Rivals or whatever with the Rock and Stone Cold thing, isn't Stone Cold the Rock's final boss? I'm just saying. I think Stone Cold's the final boss over the Rock. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you, for The Rock, the final boss would be Stone Cold. Yeah, he's taken a, he's taken risks with the really long um, title reigns, because you're right about the injury thing. Part of the reason people are thinking he didn't do it is a chance of Rock versus Austin. I fucking hope so. I hope so. Yeah, dude. I love RVD. And actually, where is it? I lost it. Oh no, I found it. <laughs> For RVD. I actually think, if I remember right, I saw um, RVD versus Jeff Hardy in a ladder match at a SummerSlam Live. <laughs> yes. It was the cutest thing. 
And then he was talking about how RVD is the one that helped him with his speech, but just like, gave him a fucking... Yeah. Dude, he had... Heyman had one of the best Hall of Fame speeches ever. Ever. I love that all like the AC or ECW people were there. Even Tommy fucking Dreamer, and you already know their fucking history. Like that shit's crazy. RVD versus Riddle, weed on a pole match. Oh, that would hit. Literally. That would hit. <laughs> funny thing about his speech is he was actually the headliner but went first yet yeah. i mean his speech was a long speech too it's like 30 minutes but it was fucking worth it he, he nailed it yeah Yeah, no one's going to follow him. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, Heyman was the main speech anyway. Because they placed everything around him. Nothing. The other people obviously are great, but they like were focusing solely on Heyman. Katie Forbes. Her and RVD are still together, which is cute. fucking riddle actually it sucks because i actually found riddle and shit funny and he just had it's just sad yeah i saw him i saw her with him that's what i was saying i said they're still together it's really cute they're saying riddle versus rvd weed on a pole match like that would fucking hit hard. <laughs> yes, they were, dude. He brought out a funny ass side in Orton. He brought out a good side in Orton. There's no yeah. <laughs> but isn't Orton's a pretty big weed smoker too? I know that. To be honest, for pain and shit, weed's probably the safest thing a wrestler could be doing. Yeah. Riddle did a lot of good. He was just a shithead sometimes. But he did bring out such a good side in Orton. That's, yeah. Especially that fucking, uh, was it in Saudi Arabia with the camels? And Orton hella wanted to ride a camel, but they wouldn't let him ride a camel. We were talking about how if RVD had a fucking match against Riddle for like a weed on a pole match. <laughs> but right now it's uh, Jay versus Finn Balor. All right. Take care. Take care. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, Priest looked like he was disappointed in Baylor there. He just, like, walked away. Judgment Day is going to be falling apart. We were just talking about Riddle and RVD. And right now it's Jay versus Tim Balor. And Priest was watching, but then Priest just, like, looked kind of disappointed and walked away. I'm telling you, Judgment Day is falling apart. 
Ever since Dom stopped listening to them so much and did shit on his own, that's when it was starting. Ooh, super kick. <laughs> Brings me back to WrestleMania. Oh, I try not to listen to Jim Cornette. I don't, I don't really listen to a lot of that. I just kind of see random shit on Twitter. Liv killed the Judgment Day when she took Rhea out. Basically. Basically. Her revenge tour. Her revenge tour ain't over yet either, I'm telling you. <laughs> Triple H should fucking pull the thing and like do the whole Liv Dom thing. He should do it. No one should listen to Dominic. Of Dominic. So does that make Liv the final boss for Judgment Day? Actually, yeah, right now. Right now, she's a huge threat. <laughs> Oh, there's Priest. He walked out, he already knew Baylor was losing. I actually love the confidence, though. Priest looks so much more confident than, like, a few years ago. He's gotten so much better. I've loved watching them all. Girl from baby. Liv wins the title, then gets drafted to SmackDown while Rhea's drafted. And then Rhea can't get to her. Yo! Oh, now all the Judgment Day is attacking, well, besides Rhea, attacking Jay. That would be the ultimate troll, dude. Fucking JD. The only reason JD got to be in is because R Truth annoyed them so much. They just accepted him after. Where's that kid pointing the fucking camera right in the face? Yeah, Rhea and Liv get the build to Mania. Oh, yeah. I guess he's just walking backstage. <laughs> that kid definitely did not see that coming tonight. <laughs> so cool when stuff like that happens. So yeah, Jay won, and Priest went to go. Oh, there's Sami Zayn. Now Jay's standing with Sami Zayn. Yeah. Sami and Jay. Let them together. Yes. Well, it's just going to be a big heel turn. Oh, this will be bad. He keeps doing these entrances. I like it. I love these. No, I never really watched WCW. Oh, 
I was always WWE. Gotta be gasps audibly. The only one I would have liked in WCW is Jericho, and by the time I watched WWE, he was already in WWE. So cool. This entrance is so cool for him. This is so cool. Uh, I see. Yeah, no, I was just hooked on WWE back then. I was obsessed as a kid. I see. I do say, I've seen a lot of older stuff for WCW though. I just didn't watch it back then. Yeah, I've been while well, yeah, I know all them came from him. I know. But I was just saying Jericho because Jericho was like my guy. <laughs> He's the main one. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to Raw is Jericho. Drew, Jericho had one of the best debuts with The Rock. I'm sorry. One of the best debuts in history. Mm. Mm. That girl's so scared. That girl was leaning hell of a way from him. Dude, I gotta meet fucking Lita. She's in the commercials. I don't know if you guys see the same commercials, so it's probably not. Or maybe. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think is gonna happen? So quiet. That's what I thought it was specific. Well, yeah, because Jericho wasn't the fucking type of one. That, thank you. I appreciate it. The older guys and the bigger guys. That's just how it was back then. Jericho is different than what they normally would push. Thank you. But Jericho was always kind of the underdog a lot. Being a Jericho fan back in the day, watching WWE was like being a live fan. So that's why I'm kind of used to it. He kept always getting fucked over. Too soon for be able to turn heel, maybe. I just know that the reaction would be crazy. We'll see. Abigail looks like a copy of that movie Megan. DDP, yes. I should love DDP too. Loved 
the whole Benoit thing is crazy. I know my little brother was such a big fan of him too. When that happened, that was nuts. Billy Kidman was good too. I actually really liked him in WWE when he came for the little bit. The little bit he was there. Oh yeah, it was. Then Megan was a copy of Chucky. But yeah. It just reminded me of the whole Megan thing right away. Ah. Wasn't it Muhammad Ali? Because then The Rock got it from him. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I remember Shane Douglas. I'm just not very familiar. Okay, okay. I thought that's what I heard. Yeah, because Muhammad Ali was the people's champion and then The Rock got it from him. That's right, okay. That was LA Knight or Styles, who do you think is going to win? LA Knight. Yeah. They wouldn't let LA Knight beat Roman, but I could see them. Well, Cody's not going to lose anytime soon. But he'd be more likely to win over on Cody than fucking uh, Roman. I actually wouldn't mind AJ Styles winning either. I love AJ. They had they made DDP just stalk Undertaker's wife, like Sarah Calloway at the time. I remember because I watched a cage match against that them live. Undertaker versus DDP in a cage match. It's old school. Yeah, they just made him a fucking stalker in WWE. It was so weird. Is Gable. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bronson. I don't think Gable's very worried about him. Yeah, because Vince like went out of his way to fuck the people that came from a WCW ah, that came from WCW over. He went out of his way to. They always talk about that, like with Jericho too. That's what happened because he came from fucking WCW, and Vince is petty as shit. Sting was hella smart to refuse. Yeah, it was awful. It was so bad. When you actually rewatch it nowadays, it's like, damn, bro. I got bad. Well, at least Vince is gone now. Fucking guy. That yeah, the Triple H is right. Yeah, poor Jericho got fucked so much by him back in the day. Oh my god. When Jericho fucking won the championship, that one fucking raw or something. I was so fucking happy, and then after the commercial, they took it away. As a kid, I literally cried my eyes out so fucking bad for, like, three days. It was terrible. Love, Samantha. 
Vince is hiding in the shadows. Hell yeah. I want Sammy to win, but I also wouldn't mind a heel turn, so. But I know you might be, it might be too soon. Oh, Jericho and Stephanie was gold, though, yeah. That shit was hilarious. No good bottom feeding trash bag, ho. Mm, that's true. That's true. That mustache was fucking bizarre on him, dude. That looks so weird. It was so weird. Yep. Mm. Not really. I actually wasn't surprised that Jericho did that. Because he's all about reinventing himself and like I don't know if he was particularly happy at WWE at the time. And sometimes, yeah. Jericho's a smart guy. So. And he did get fucked over several times in WWE. I can tell you that as a Jericho fan. Did she? Because I started watching like towards the end of 2016, so I don't know fully. Start watching again, I should say. Yeah, that shit was funny. The Muhammad was. That was bad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and now Sammy's just showing off. Dwayne the Rock. Commercial. Always. Always. Why is it always during Sammy, too? Liv's always going to win every week. Even when she doesn't win, she wins. <laughs> yeah, that was bad timing. Yep. He fucking did, dude. I told people for fucking years how good Jericho was, and it took them so long to figure it out. I love to go. I've literally never left the States. Except, like, the Canada, like, once. But that was to get to Alaska, so I don't know if that really counts. But, I guess. Really? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He's not mid. Ass. Jericho's a fucking legend. And he needs to go back to WWE stat. <laughs> oh my god. You just made the list. Well, he's mid at the moment. Yeah, he's exactly. Why did I just agree? Well, how is this going this way? Doesn't matter who he is. Oh my god.
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's got to go back to WWE. Doesn't matter who he is. Ireland. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't, I don't block. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I find it funny. Saudi Arabia, it's not, it's not really on my list. Nothing against it, it's just. Mm. Well, I think it's just some of the, with the rules with women and stuff there. I, I wouldn't want to go. But. Dog and Jericho fucking Enzo. My goodness. Next, he's going to be like Enzo's going to fucking. <laughs> I, I can't even joke anymore. <laughs> Enzo's gonna come interrupt Jericho's Hall of Fame speech. <laughs> Take him out of the Hall of Fame. Some shit like that's gonna come. Australia seems cool. They start pulling out swords. Oh my god. Yes, I loved that. I love that. I think I love McFoley too. Like I said, Liv's always going to win. No, dude, Jericho needs to leave AEW. He's, he needs to leave. And I think he is damn ready. Just, it's, it's going to happen. People are like, no, no, because he's this and that in AEW. It's like, bro, Cody left. CM Punk left. Of course Jericho will leave. Yeah, but there are ways, money. You never know. Is he? Is he paid higher than freaking Mercedes? The Hardys will be back in WWE, too. I love it. I love Moxley. A lot more. Mercedes is getting what Becky is. Okay, got it. All right. Didn't she not come back to WWE because they wouldn't pay her what Becky gets? Do I think AEW is going down? It's not going down yet. Yet. It'll be, a, it'll be a few years or so. It has years on it still. He probably should get like a part-timer role for a little bit just to rest up. Because he does need a break. He works himself way too hard and does so many different things. I mean, he doesn't just do wrestling. He does his music. He does all of that shit. It's a lot. He always overworks himself. I've always thought of him like the Ryan Seacrest of wrestling because he just fucking does everything everywhere. He's everywhere. Oh, shit. Another commercial. Probably is regretting it. 
I want to see that again. Or like she didn't get a bus like Charlotte had some shit. Yep. And she she just went back at the wrong time, man. I don't know what she was thinking with that besides the money thing, because right now WWE's thriving. Like, thriving. Mm -hmm. Told y'all. I knew they weren't going to do it right with her. They didn't even promote her right. They did a lot more promotion for, like, uh, Ruby, actually, than her. How long is Sasha's her? Yeah, how long's her contract there? Three years. At least she didn't do too long, but. Yeah, it didn't take long. They disappointed per usual. Per usual. Vince will buy... Oh, okay. Vince will buy AEW. Hire Enzo with a different name. Then sells company to TKO, where it's combined with WWE. Then Enzo, different name. Will join him with Liv. Enzo and Liv for three and Dom. That was so thought out. Oh my god. Damn. Wow. How'd you make that sound like so legit? Damn. Crow is a prophet sent to us to herald the doom of wrestling, the heartbringer of this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. Ooh, Sammy bleeding. Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> oh my God. Crow's going to bed tonight dreaming of Enzo tonight. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Enzo and Jericho. Who do you hate more, Ryback or Goldberg? Oof. Yep, and you can't teach that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn. Chris Benoit in Saudi Arabia? But Shani will have a dream of living Enzo because of this chat. 
Oh no. I think we're all gonna dream of Enzo after this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't like Ryback or Goldberg, but Ryback's such a douchebag that probably Ryback. Think about lives. Yes. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Gable got an ankle lock on Sammy. You'll dream better. Stay away from the Enzo snacks. <laughs> oh my God. Chris Benoit chatting with OJ in hell. Hell yeah, he is. Oh no. Like a celebrity or anything? No. Like people I don't know have blocked me, but like that I didn't even know. So I must have just like annoyed them somehow on it. But I do know specifically one person blocked me because I said Orange Cassidy is funny. They did not like that, so they blocked me. But I never, like, talked to any of the people. Damn. The only person who can beat Enzo is Chris Benoit, but um, oh my god, damn, damn. damn. <laughs> oh my god. That was dark. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, yeah, it's over. One, two, three. Sammy beats Gable. Oh, people will love it when they go back. I can't wait. I can't wait. Get us out of that PG era, which we've been out of now. But, yeah. That's a good match. That was a good match. Good night, everyone. Or good night, Joel. Yeah, let's see. It's a Shannon. She's awesome. Thank you. Have a great night yourself. Night. <laughs> Be Shanny. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a crazy way to turn heel, right? Thank you. You take care, too. Let's see. Is he going to turn heel? You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much. 
You make these weeks fun, man. Let's see. What's gonna happen? Oh no. Gable is. That's the bottom line, because Shannon said so. Gable just raised Sammy's hand. He's, so is he going to turn? No, not yet. I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised he didn't turn there. Oh, he did. Okay. See, you're a little ahead of me. There it goes. There he is. Oh. There it is. There's the heel, Gable. Yep. There was no way, like, that reaction from the crowd was right there. There's no way Triple H wouldn't take some advantage of that. Damn, ankle lock on the ropes. Damn. Yes. That was good. That was good. Damn. Ah, thank you all for coming tonight. It was fun, right? She is the reigning, defending, undisputed prediction champ. Only they aren't predictions. They're spoilers. Hells yeah. See you Friday, for sure. For sure. All right, thanks, y'all, for coming. If you haven't already, already subscribe and hit the bell if you want. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Love y'all. See you Friday. See you then.